Hi, 11 Justice, 11 Love, and 11 Fortitude, 11 Faith. So, let me discuss to you um, Module 5 of General Mathematics entitled Rational Equations, Rational Functions, and Rational Inequalities. So, on this module, you will be able to identify which of the following or which of the given examples are functions, equations, and inequalities. But before that, let me present to you the competencies that you need to attain or we need to finish this um, session. First one is to distinguish among rational functions, rational equations, and rational inequalities. You should be able to determine whether the given is a rational function, a rational equation, or a rational inequality. Let's start with the basic. Let us define rational expression. So a rational expression is an expression that can be written as a ratio of two polynomials. So again, when we say rational, the keyword there is ratio. So that is a fraction. Now, an expression is composed of two polynomials. Take a look at those examples. First one is 2 over x. So that is a rational expression. Second one is x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x plus 1. Also a rational. 5 over x minus 3. That is also a rational expression. Same goes with x minus 1 over 2x plus 3. And lastly, 5x over 4. All these five examples are rational expression. They are fractions. That's why they are rational expression. Now, let us discuss the three basic components of this topic. The first one is a rational equation. So what is rational ex uh, um, equation? Based on its definition, an equation involving rational expression. Therefore, both sides of the equation should be rational expression separated by equal sign. Let's take a look at the examples. The first one is 2, minus, um, 2 over x minus 3 over 2x is equal to 1 fifth. Both sides have... Um, rational expression and thus separated by equal sign. That is an example of rational equation. Another is x plus 1 over 2x is equal to 3 4 or 3 fourths. Therefore, both sides have rational expression and separated by equal sign. That is also an, an example of rational equation. So again, when we say a rational equation, both sides should be a rational expression separated by equal sign. Next, let's move with rational inequality. In rational inequality, you will be using less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. Those are your inequality symbols. By definition, rational inequality involves rational expression with inequality symbols. Let's take a look at the example number 1. 5 over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 2 over x. 5 over x minus 3 and 2 over x are both rational expressions. Now, a while ago, expressions are being separated by equal sign. That's why it's called rational equation. This time, it is separated by an inequality symbol. That is why it is called rational inequality. On our first example, it is separated by less than or equal. How about the second example? 4x plus 1 over 3 is greater than 1 over x. 4x plus 1 over 3 and 1 over x on this part are both rational expression. Thus, separated by an inequality symbol which is greater than. So, these are examples of rational inequality. So again, in rational inequality, both sides should contain rational expressions now separated by um, inequality symbol. What are the inequality symbols? We have the less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. And lastly, the rational function. A function of the form f of x is equal to p of x over q of x where p of x and qx are polynomial functions. And g of x, or q of x rather, is not the zero function. 
uh, just just like what I discussed a while ago, make sure to identify that number that makes your denominator zero, because it will make your function or your given undefined. Example: f of x is equal to 3x plus 5 over 2x minus 4. This makes a function simply because you have your f of x. And f of x is also considered as y. So we can rewrite this one as y is equal to 3x plus 5 over 2x minus 4. Another example is f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x plus 1. They are both rational function with polynomials on your numerator and denominator. So, a rational equation or inequality can be solved for all values of x that satisfy the equation or inequality. A rational function expresses a relationship between two variables, such as x and y, and can also be represented by table of values or graph. Now, uh, based on our discussion on what is equation, inequality, and function, I wanted to answer activity card 1 to 10, and assessment card 1 to 10. So, you simply identify if it is rational equation, inequality, or function. No need to color it green, yellow, or pink. So, please refrain from looking the uh, answer sheet or answer key at the bottom of your um, module because I know there is an answer key at the end. But still, please be honest in answering your activities. That's all and thank you.